Welcome to Fun Islamic Facts, where I share fun facts about Muhammad and the Quran whenever jihadis go on a killing spree. According to the Department of Entomology at Penn State University, houseflies are not the neatest of insects. They visit such places as dumps, sewers, and garbage heaps. They feed on fecal matter, discharges from wounds and sores, sputum, and all sorts of moist decaying matter such as spoiled fish, eggs, and meat. Pest control experts at Orkin add, Houseflies are recognized as carriers of easily communicable diseases. Flies collect pathogens on their legs and mouths when females lay eggs on decomposing organic matter such as feces, garbage, and animal corpses. Houseflies carry diseases on their legs and the small hairs that cover their bodies. It takes only a matter of seconds for them to transfer these pathogens to food or touched surfaces. Mature houseflies also use saliva to liquefy solid food before feeding on it. During this process, they transfer the pathogens first collected by landing on offal. Diseases carried by houseflies include typhoid, cholera, and dysentery. Other diseases carried by houseflies include salmonella, anthrax, and tuberculosis. Houseflies have also been known to transmit the eggs of parasitic worms. So, flies carry a variety of diseases on their legs and hairs, and they transfer these diseases rapidly. The illiterate 7th century Arabian caravan trader who declared himself to be a prophet, Muhammad, a different kind of exterminator, had a very different view of flies and disease. Sahih al-Bukhari 3320 Narrated Abu Huraira The Prophet said, If a housefly falls in the drink of any one of you, he should dip it in the drink. For one of its wings has a disease, and the other has the cure for the disease. Sunan Abu Daud 3844 It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah said, If a fly falls into the vessel of one of you, then immerse it, for on one of its wings is a disease, and on the other is a cure. When it falls, it falls onto the wing on which is a disease, so immerse it fully. Think about all of the mistakes in Muhammad's brief science lesson. First, according to Muhammad, flies transfer diseases that are carried primarily on their wings. In reality, flies spread diseases that are primarily carried on their legs and hairs. Second, according to Muhammad, the diseases that flies carry are only found on one of their wings. In reality, this is stupid. Germs clearly don't know how to select one wing over the other. Third, according to Muhammad, when a fly falls into your food or drink, it always lands on the wing that carries the disease. In reality, this is stupid too. How in the name of probability would a fly always land on the diseased wing? Fourth, according to Muhammad, the wing that doesn't carry the disease carries the cure for the disease. In reality, this is extremely stupid. As we've seen, flies carry typhoid, cholera, dysentery, anthrax, salmonella, and tuberculosis. Do Muslims really believe that the cures for typhoid, cholera, dysentery, anthrax, salmonella, and tuberculosis are all found on whatever fly wing is sticking up when a fly crash lands in their hummus? Have Muslim researchers at top universities discovered the cures for every disease carried by flies simply by extracting the cures from the cure wing? When they're not busy studying the health benefits of camel urine, of course. Fifth, according to Muhammad, when a fly lands in your food or drink, you should dunk the fly to make sure you get all of the cure off its special healing wing. In reality, by dunking the fly, you're exposing yourself to even more pathogens, which are transferred from the legs and hairs that you're dunking in your food and drink. Welcome to Islam, the religion that can help you catch typhoid, cholera, dysentery, anthrax, salmonella, and tuberculosis if you take its profit seriously.